What's going on with y'all? I don't know why this is so bright. I might have to turn the ISO down. This T Banks is back in the building. I wanted to stream these last eight days of the week, but unfortunately, some shit has happened to me and shit just me up, and I was forced to take a four month break. I got a story time to tell y'all of what happened to me and where I was at. I do have something to show y'all though for all the people that didn't see it. <laughs> Look what we got back, chat. Look what this got back, man. Yeah. Yeah, look what we got back, man. This took such a long time. And I've been so, I have not been on social media. I have not been on my phone in the last couple days. So if anybody's trying to talk to me, I'm sorry. Like I said, it's, it's been so much going on. I'm about to tell y'all exactly what happened and how up I've been. So I apologize for being off the grid. Not on the Discord, not anywhere, but like, it's been up. I'm about to tell y'all exactly what happened. Life has been crazy but the hellcat video is coming out pretty soon and we finally got it fixed i'm going to try and give y'all a great content today but understand I'm, i might be a little down on energy because i can't really yell too much because my throat hurts pause we already got the thirst trap we about to start off with a uh story time of to tell y'all exactly how i almost ended up at the fucking hospital for the third time so it's gonna be two story times in one kind of low-key we got tiktok in here so let me tell y'all the story time what the Happened to T Banks. All right, so boomskis. So I got the Hellcat fix. Now, one thing that this is why I tell you, young, you might have to stay away from getting a girlfriend. When you get a girlfriend, and if you're in the grinding phase of your life, if you a streamer, YouTuber, start a business, no matter what it is, if you're doing something where you're making money from your own grind, your girlfriend will be supportive only to to an extent. Now, you probably like what you mean. If you don't have a problem, y'all know I have not been in that Hellcat since September. It's almost been three months. I didn't care though because I was focusing on the grind. I was focused on making YouTube videos and streaming. Now girls be like, oh, I'm down. I'll let you do what you want to do. I mean, I'm saying I'll let you grind it like that. But eventually they'll start to resent you because you have not taken them out. Ever since then, I have been hearing inside of my ear, I want to get out the house. You changed my life. You made me broke. You don't take me out no more. Things of that nature. So in my head, I'm like, oh my God, how the f am I making you broke? And I'm working for us to be rich for the rest of my life. What do you mean? I'm working for our kids to go to school with suits and ties and wear. You know what I'm saying? They're going to school with Brawny and them. Brawny's kids and shit. <laughs> Cynthia, did you just throw a, ban a half a banana of a chewable candy at the side of my head? Hold on, y'all. Let me handle something real quick. Stop, or you're not gonna eat. Block, and I caught it. That's an aura right there. Now, anyways, like I was saying, she complaining this shit, talking about you haven't taken me out. I haven't been out the house. You made me broke. You just done the third. Uh, when I was, when I was, didn't live with you, I used to. Well, nobody told you to move here. So as soon as I got the car fixed, the first thing that she want to do is beg to get out the house. So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. I, okay. So I was supposed to stream when I got my Hellcat fixed, right? But Tass wanted to go out to a party and shit. So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. Let's go to a party, your, your best friend's birthday party, whatever the case may be. That's what I tell y'all. If you're in the grinding phase and shit like that, you might have to rethink about being in a relationship. Not in a bad way, but just know that your girlfriend will press you even when you grind it and she see you grinding. Real nigga, I'm trying to tell y'all. They are going to press you even when they see you grinding. And they always say in the beginning, hey, I'm okay if you want to do your things. You want to grind. I'm going to let you do your thing. I appreciate you working hard for me and this and the third. Let me tell y'all something. Two things about a relationship when, you, when you're in the grinding phase of your life. One, they'll really not be okay with it and they'll really start to resent you. No matter how many girls in the world be like, I let my man just in the third, they will start to slowly resent you. Slowly, slowly. And it gets built up. And eventually it becomes a one big thing about how you don't do and y'all have to understand something. If you, you can handle partying, you can handle clubbing, you can handle a lot of shit when you grind it, but it's always a balance. And sometimes it's not about handling it, it's about fuck that shit because I can do it later. You feel me? So that's one thing that y'all have to understand is gonna be in the back of her head. She's gonna sit right there, she's gonna eventually resent you and start to press you because you don't care about going out, you don't care about going on dates, but to her that might mean everything. It's kind of like, well, and another thing is, if they start an argument, y'all gotta understand something about being in a relationship. If you get into a bad argument, you'll look up, you've been arguing for four hours, you're supposed to stream four hours ago. That has happened to me multiple times. And then, even if you get into an argument and you try to let it go, you might not want to stream or do a YouTube because you're in a bad mood now, it's gonna be hard to make people laugh because it's in the back of my head. That has also happened. I don't care if you're saying shut the f up. So, boom, um, y'all probably like, what the f has to do with the story? A lot. So, she wanted to go to a party, and Loki, I wasn't really it, but I'm like, we'll go to a party. So we go to a little bar. We go to a party, right? I take it to the party. And then after going to this party one time, she shared a drink with someone, right? 
her best friend with, you know, a straw. And I drink, I mean, and, I, and she kissed me that day. The next day, my throat hurt. I'm telling her right now, if you share a drink with your best friend and I wake up one day and I have a cold sore, y'all will never see her again because I'm breaking up with her. Swear to God. If I wake up in the next two years and I'm still with her and there's a bum bump on my lip, I swear to God, I'm breaking up. Oh God, I'm done. It's over. I swear to God, I'm dead ass. Cause you sharing drinks and sharing, you don't even drink behind me. I don't know who you who you sharing your your. I don't know who what the fuck is going on. I don't know who lips is where, who what they doing with their mouth. So if in the next couple of days I wake up with a bum bump, I swear to God on my grandmother's grave, I'm telling y'all right now, we won't be. There will be no more tea makes on these drinks. Wallah, not even trolling. Swear to God. So shit's already in the bag. But that's besides the point. So boom, I go home. Right. I'm like the next day I wake up. Right. And I got the healthcare fixed. So boom, this also has a part of the story. Right. So I take my Hellcat to, you know, the mechanic. He gets it done same day. Chat, this transmission is smooth as butter. My transmission is fixed. The Hellcat is back the fuck up. I got the clutch on. I'm not taking the nigga that's serious that has a smoother filter on. Cynthia, when you make TikToks, you put the enhanced filter on your face to 100. You look smooth as Your face don't even look real. Really seen you in real life, you have bumps all over your face. Your face has texture. You have Minecraft texture on your face. This is a part of my camera. You was begging me to turn this on when you did the stream. So relax. Like I was saying. So I go out, we drink, I go home the next day. My throat is hurting. So I'm like, damn, do I have a do I am I sick? She only gets views when you're in her vids. <laughs> Don't do that's not true. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Every time you do a TikTok by yourself, that shit is ass. You get no likes. Every time I'm in one of your videos, that shit has a million views. Relax, nigga. I'm getting you followers. You need to relax. And you can't say the same thing about me because I built my shit up solo dolo. Where are my TikTok mods? W7 months. Where are my TikTok mods? Why are you Where are my TikTok mods? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where are my TikTok mods? 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 And it's an early stream, so niggas shouldn't be like, oh, I'm asleep. Where are my TikTok mods? So, bonkies. Oh, ha ha, Juju's in there. All right, back. So, we go out. Damn, y'all hear my voice cracking. So, I drink behind her. She kissed me and shit like that. Now, chat. When I say I almost had to go to the hospital, I promise y'all I'm not trolling. She can tell y'all I got really bad. On some serious I'm done trolling. Listen. So, boom. So I come home and I'm like, I'm streaming today. I told her yesterday, I said, I'm streaming today. I'm going to take medicine right quick to get better for my you know, supporters. They want to watch me stream. So I'm like, I've been gone for three days. So boom, I come home, right? And chat, I have developed an allergy to, at, how do you say that shit? As, astaminophen, astaminophen, however you say it. I have developed, start over. Hey, I told you I'm spanking with ass. Hey, sub up. So I have developed an a, a, a allergy to astaminophen, astaminophen, however you say it. Basically, not ibuprofen. You know what I'm saying? Of the other one, the, the cold and, and medicine. I'm going to show y'all the one. Okay, I'm going to show y'all. Fuck. Let's make the story time more interactive. All right, so boom. So this is the shit that I, that I usually use when I'm sick. Daytime medicine. I don't drink uh, Benadryl, no sleepy time medicine because it makes me feel weird. So I drink this shit and I'll take this, right? Now, I think I have developed an allergy to this and you might be like, what do you mean? So, last year I got sick and I was with someone else and I drank a whole bottle in three days or two days. Then, relax. It's a part of the story. So, boom. So, then I end up getting sick three months later. And I end up drinking a whole bottle again. So, when I first met her, she got me sick. When I first met her, she got me sick. Listen. Shut up. When I first met her, I got, I got her. She got me sick. And I drank some i'm like let me drink a little bit right so i drink a little bit of this this was back in january of 2024 i drink a little bit of this, this daytime medicine and i had really bad nasal drip my my whole pipe system back here my nose my throat and my nose was burning on a scale of 11 to 10 and my spit was super thick and i could not breathe and my throat was burning my whole ear nose and throat system was burning really bad and I was in the Discord asking niggas for help. They were like, you need, my member Will called me, he's like, you need alkaline water. I'm like, why? He's like, yeah, you got like, and I thought I had indigestion. I mean, not indigestion. Um, my ear, nose, and throat. What's that shit called? Not indigestion. Um, What's the other one called when your stomach is, is like, uh, not indigestion, when it has something to do with your stomach acid. What's that shit called? Oh, acid reflux. Oh, acid reflux. I thought I had acid reflux, right? So in my head, I'm like, damn, my acid reflux is up from this, I don't know, I, I didn't really think it was from the medicine, I didn't know what it was from, so, I'm like, damn, I feel up, 
So it's burning really bad. I can't handle it, right? I went and got uh, uh, some uh, see, Placentia, and I went in the shower, turned it on hot, and I had to be in there for like 35 minutes and eventually went away. So boom, she, I ended up getting sick from her again back in September when I did the fucking um, Black Wukong thing. I mean, before I did the Black Wukong uh, stream, remember I got sick, sick in September. I drink this again and it happens again, but this time it's longer and it's burning worse. I got, and I, here's the thing, I'm not a nigga that gets sick. I don't get sick within two to three years. So I end up drinking this again and I'm thinking, and, I, and it happens again. If y'all remember back when I had that pink jacket on when I did the stream with Yusuf and my voice was cracking a lot. Every time I drink this, I get fucked up. I don't know. I think I, I'm trying to tell you. I got to develop. I got I developed the uh, allergy. So I drink this shit. My nose, my ear, my nose, everything is burning. And I and listen, I have a high pain tolerance. When she sees me acting like that, she knows something is fucked up. I'm sitting on the ground of the tub, water, the hot water on my back, putting peppermint oil, and I cannot breathe. And I'm trying to tell you, like, it feels like I need to go to the hospital. Like, I'm about to feel like I'm about to die. I cannot breathe. Everything is burning. And there's a nasal drip in the back of my throat. And every time I spit, my thick is so spit, it's like sticking to my face. So, boom. So, the second time it happened, I'm like, all right, I'm not going to drink the liquid no more. It's some type of coolant in here that's fucking with me or some shit like that, whatever the case may be. So, I said, fuck it. WSGT bones. Right? I'll take the... Bro, I said my spit is so thick. Get off a nigga dick. So, I said, fuck it. This time, I'll take the pill. So, this is my third time. I take the pill of this shit. Right? I take the pill. This was yesterday. Chat for an hour and 30 minutes. I was in the shower on the ground, water hitting me, and I could not breathe. And I thought it was going to get so bad, I was about to have to go to the hospital. My throat was burning. The nasal, my it was nasal dripping the back of my throat. My, my stomach acid was coming up. My ears were clogged, and I could, my whole face, everything back here was burning on an 11 out of 10. I could not breathe. And you asked her, she was sitting there for over an hour trying to make, like, rub my back. I, I, I kept having to spit. I couldn't breathe out my nose. I could barely breathe out my mouth. I'm sitting right there. I'm trying to tell y'all, on God, I've never felt, I wouldn't even worse this with my worst op. I'm sitting right there, shower on hot. She's putting peppermint oil. She's trying to rub my back to get the shit out. I'm sitting right there spitting, and the spit is getting stuck. Like, that's how, it, like, it was just all mucus. So I'm like, what the fuck? It's an hour and a half. I'm sitting there. You feel me? So, I always thought it was the liquid, but I think I developed something to any of these. It might be this nasal decongestion. That's my, what it would be. It's just philimphaline ACI. Philimphaline ACI. It might be that. So, I don't know. So, that's why I didn't stream yesterday, and that's why I've been gone. I have developed a bad headache. You feel me? And like, boom. I honestly thought this third time I might have to go to the hospital. I could not breathe. Swear to God. I thought like it was over. Like, I thought I'm about to go to the hospital and had to put IV in my arm and shit like that. So, I don't know what allergy I developed to that shit, but I got fucked up, you feel me? And that's why my voice sounds like this and shit, and that's why I look a little weird. So, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm never taking medicine again. I don't even take medicine, and I don't even get sick. So, nigga, that's where I've been. That's why I haven't been on social media. That's why I haven't been on my phone, nigga. And then, every time this happens, my nose gets really fucking clogged, nigga. Every time this happens, my nose get clogged really bad, and I can't breathe. So I woke up this morning, blew my nose out, and then I'm pretty, I'm feeling, I'm feeling better. You feel me? I'm like 70% of the way there. Tomorrow I should feel, you know, 80, 90%. But as of right now, I'm giving y'all niggas a sick stream, so y'all should be saying thank you, big BBC motion, bro. You feel me? I, I, st I still stream today, and I'm giving you niggas a stream, and regardless, so. You feel me? Y'all should be saying thank you, Big BBC Motion, bro. And begging me for dangling pictures. But that's where we at now. And before we finally get all the way into the stream, I have to order her uh, fish and chips because she's been begging. 